Almighty Father, we worship you. Holy Spirit, we magnify you. Thank you for bringing us together in this soul intercessory prayer. Lord, we pray. Speak to our heart. Remove reluctance. Let us live a life of the redeemed so that we can be resolute with prayer to proclaim concisely the word of God so that people Adamant people, almost persuaded people, confused people, people love Father in the midst of decision or indecision, they be converted to serve you. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You are welcome to this our this uh Sunday soul intercessory prayers we are opening to Jonah. Open your Bible with me to the book of Jonah and the Lord will help us and I believe he called me and you to make us to know that particular word. Today is very essential. We're looking at Jonah, reading some verses from chapter 1, chapter 2, chapter 3 today and the Lord will help us and give us good understanding in Jesus' name. As you are opening to Jonah, chapter 1, we start from before we go to 2 and go to 3. The topic is Jonah's call. Reluctance, but precise and productive proclamation. I will say it again. Jonah's call. The reluctance, but precise and productive proclamation. I pray. God will make us as we have been called, Jesus called us. Even if you are reluctant to preach the gospel, today a change is coming. It will be precise to the word of God, application of the word of God, and it will be productive because the word that will come out will come with power, and people will be convinced, and they will actually be converted. The proclamation will be as the Holy Spirit lead in Jesus' name. So today I read from Jonah. Chapter 1, I read 1 to 3 and I will be reading as we continue. Look at 1 to 3. Now the word of the Lord came unto Jonah, the son of Amittai, saying, Arise, mark that word arise. That's the commission. That go ye, that go to Nineveh, that great city, and cried against it, for their wickedness is come on, up unto up before me. But Jonah rose up. To flee reluctancy unto Tarshish from the presence of the law. Don't run because you are given the mandate, the commission to preach the gospel. Don't run. Don't be lazy. And went down to, Ta to Joppa and he found a sheep going to Tarshish. So he paid the fear thereof. Ah, the price of running away. Mm. And went down into it and go with them and to touch his from the presence of the Lord. Because of the gospel, because of the truth, you will not run away in Jesus' name. Chapter 2, 1 to 2. And Jonah prayed, hallelujah, unto the Lord. He came to realize himself. You will realize your position of disobedience to the preaching of the gospel in Jesus' name. He said, unto the Lord is God. Out of the fish belly. Where are you actually? Are you in bondage because you don't preach the gospel? Are you confused? And some of you are in the bondage, the belly of the fish, in preaching worldliness, in committed to sin and unrighteousness. You are in the belly of the fish. Pray. And I'm say we pray to his God out of the fish belly and said, I cried. He prayed with all his mouth. Effective prayer. By reason of my affliction, my people are afflicted. They are afflicted, but when they call unto the Lord, God answered them and he delivered them from their destruction. Let's see, unto the Lord, and he heard me. He said, Call unto me, I will answer. Great and mighty that I know of, I will show unto you. He heard, he heard him. Ask, it shall be given. He said, He heard me out of the belly of hell, cried the eye. When you are disobedient, you are in the belly of hell. Because you are close to hell. Because you are a candidate of hell in disobedience. 
and thou hardest my voice. Hallelujah. He had his for he had the voice of the Lord. He had the voice of his servant. Let's now go to chapter 3, I read from 1 to 4. And the word of the Lord come unto me, come unto Jonah the second time. Jesus is calling you again now. Stand up, rise. Look at what he said. Second time, arise. Go unto Nineveh. No? I have a particular mission for you, Nineveh. I'm not changing it. He said, that great city and preach unto it the preaching that I uh, that I be thee. So Jonah arose and went unto Nineveh. According to the word of the Lord, now Nineveh was a seeding great city, three days journey. And Jonah began to enter into the city a day's journey. And the chief and the and he cried and said, Yet forty days and Nineveh shall be overthrown. What a short message, precise, concise message. And he, he proclaimed it. So the people of the Nebe believed God and proclaimed a fast and put on cyclones. And from the greatest of them, even unto the least of them, for word came unto the king of Nineveh. I pray the word of the administration, the word of life from our mouth, we get to the place of the king. He will get to those people who are leaders, and as the led are hearing also. He said, And the word came unto the king of Nineveh, and he arose from the throne, and he laid his robe, and he laid the stone from him, and covered him with sackcloth, and sat in ashes, and he caused it to be proclaimed. He became a proclaimer too, and published. Look at it. That is now he got in, he got involved. He got inside the reason for God had touched them, prepare them. Pray we minister to prepare souls and people through the way by the decree, by the decree of the king and his and his uh, noble saying. Let neither man nor beast, herd of nor flock, taste anything. Let them not feed. Let them not feed nor drink. But let man and beast be covered with sackcloth and cry mightily unto God. Sin is what we need to cry about. Yea, let them turn everyone, repentance, turning from the his evil way. And from the violence that is in their hand, killing, murder, the occultism, carrying people, kidnapping, he said, who can tell if God will turn and repent? God will, God will forgive. God will forgive. If you confess, he will forgive. If you repent sincerely and turn away from the fierce anger that we perish not. I pray, if we can turn in this, all this evil that is happening, all this punishment, or this penalty. It's not yet great tribulation and we're suffering like this. Please repent. Verse 10, And God saw their works, that they turned from their evil way. Are we turning in the land? United States? Cameroon? Are we turning? Israel? Pakistan? Are we turning? He said, saw their works. In China, are you turning at all? their way, turned from their evil way, and God repented of the evil. And he said, he had said that he would do unto them, and he did it not. God is merciful. Come unto the merciful God is going to actually overcome. Three points we want to look at briefly. God will teach us, train us, help us to actually avoid being reluctant to the call. The first call is unto salvation. If you are not saved because Jonah, a prophet, before you become a prophet, God will speak to you. You will repent of your sin. You come to Jesus. You come to the Lord and he will give you a new life. A new life is Jonah is a prophet. Me and you, are we, called, we have been called, come unto me. Repent of your sin. When you repent, you now actually give your life to Jesus Christ. Then you will not be reluctant to the commission and you will preach the gospel in Jesus' name. The topic again is Jonah's call, reluctance, but precise and productive proclamation. Three points. One, the prophet reluctant to the 
purposeful commission. Number two, prayer and resolution to proclaim concisely. Number three, public repentance of the people and conversion. Let's start from point number one, the prophet reluctance to the purposeful commission. Jonah chapter one, one to three. We're going to see briefly the three points. That's point number one is the prophet reluctance to the purposeful commission. Now, that's Jonah chapter one, one to three. Now, the word of the Lord came unto Jonah, the son of Amittai, saying, Jonah was a prophet. Jonah, a prophet must be combated. We're not talking about fake prophet. A preacher must be combated. He was called to be a prophet, and that's why you see his name in the Bible. And God used him through the Holy Spirit to even write down what happened. But if you are not converted, you will just be religious. You will just be going about without a change. You will not be religious. You will be full of activities. You will not be full of the Holy Spirit. Because the Holy Spirit does not come into somebody that Jesus did not recognize. How does Jesus recognize us? We repent. We renounce. We restitute. And we are redeemed to live a holy life. Then we now get the call. So he now said, it came unto him, verse 2, Arise, go to Nineveh, that great city, and cry against it, for their wickedness is come up before me. All the world is lying in wickedness. They are lying in darkness. They are lying in sins, calling you to go out there. But maybe there is sin in your life. Repent and accept Jesus so that you can reach unto the world. Hidden sin, secret sin, external sin, internal sin. You need to repent and come to Jesus so that you can quickly, firmly, precisely, concisely proclaim the word to the darkness and wicked world. Verse 3. But Jonah rose up to flee unto Stashish from the presence of the Lord and went down to Joppa. And he found a sheep going to Tashish. He paid the fear thereof. Ah, can you see the fear, the price of reluctancy, the fear of disobedience? He paid money. You don't need you don't need to be paying money to go and hide. That is the price. You are paying price of disobedience in your ministry, in your life. That is why you are not happy. They say you are prospering, right? They say your church is growing, but you are not doing the real evangelism, the real truth. You are not preaching it. And here you are. You came all the way. You left your country from Nigeria to Ghana. You are not doing evangelism. Think about it. You left Brazil and now you say you're going to Europe and you are not doing anything about it. Here you are in Baltimore. What are you doing? Here you are in Spring, Silver Spring. What are you doing? Here you are in Chicago. What are you doing? Here you are all over. We can't see Jesus. We can't see the life. We can't see the light. We can't see telling people to change from their wickedness, from darkness to light. Jesus is the light. Tell it to them. He said in that place and he paid the, the fear thereof and went down into it. When you go out of the presence of God, you go down. I pray you are coming up in Jesus' name. And to go with them unto Tatish unto, from the presence of the Lord. Don't run from the presence. He loves you. Let's go to point number two. Prayer and the resolution to proclaim concisely. Jonah chapter 2, 1 to 2. He has run. He's in the belly of, he's in the, belly of the fish for stubbornness. He's been thrown away. He's been jettisoned even into the ocean and prepare great fish has actually taken over in verse, verse chapter 2 from 1 to 2 then Jonah prayed unto the Lord his God out of the belly of the fish you need to pray even do you know that preaching they need to pray but you need to pray prayer of repentance and pray prayer of prevailing prayer that actually make the word of God to be precisely to be precise and to actually alert soul Verse 2, and he said, I cried. He didn't just pray little prayer, cried. Agonizing prayer, effective prayer, prayer that is actually, that will prevail as a righteous person now because he combated. He actually, he came back and be combated, he said, of my affliction unto the Lord. And he had me out of the belly of hell, cry I, and thou hardest my voice. God will hear you when you pray. Look at verse chapter 3. Look at chapter 3 now. From verse 1 to 4. And the word of the Lord came unto Jonah the second time saying, God is calling to you again because of the importance of the commission to go into the world. He's telling you again. That's why he's sending me to you. You, yes, specifically to change, pray, and come. He said the second time saying, Arise. He didn't change it. Go to Nineveh. God is so straight. The word he speaks to us, they are straight. It's the same word. 
He said, Lord, it changeth not. He give us the word as he told the apostle, go ye into all the world and make this our nation. The same thing he's telling us today, he doesn't change. He has told you to go. He said, arise, go to Nineveh, that great city, and preach unto it the preaching that I bid thee. I've told you before, you had it in the world, you go and preach. You go there and tell them, verse 3. So Jonah arose and went unto Nineveh, according to the word of the Lord. Now Nineveh was an exceeding great city of three days journey. Let's go to uh, point, uh, let's go to verse 4. And Jonah began to enter into the city. Now, he's not obedient. He's not changed, transformed from reluctancy to actually relaying the message. Look at the verse 4. And Jonah began to, to enter into the city a day's journey. And he cried and said, he didn't keep quiet. He wasn't he wasn't actually cranky. He wasn't actually uh, uh, fearful. Let me use that word. And he city a day's journey and cried and said, Yet forty days and Ju and Nineveh shall be overthrown. Just short, short, short phrase. He told them, The word is not hard to preach. Tell them that Jesus loved them. Come to Jesus. Turn from your sin and he will accept you. Very straightforward. Let's go to, uh, let's go and see point number three. Public repentance of the people and conversion. I pray the word of God in our mouth will be powerful. The word of God now will be gracious. The word of God in our mouth will actually be effective and we actually go there. The word I sent for you, they will not return to me void until accomplished that we have sent it for to do. You just say it, it will accomplish. We go like actually a targeted arrow into the side of the person and we actually bring them in the sword of the war. We do the right thing in Jesus' name. Point, uh, that is um, chapter 3, 5 to uh, chapter point number 3, public repentance of people and compassion. Jonah chapter 3, 5 to 10. So the people of the never believe God. Your, your, your audience will believe God. They will repent and pop, uh, they, they believe God and proclaim it fast and put on sackcloth from the greatest of them even unto the least of them. The word came unto the king of the navy and he arose from the throne and he, he, laid his, he laid his robe and from him and covered him with the sackcloth and sat in ashes and he caused it to be proclaimed, if he started to be proclaimed and published through navy by the decree of the king and his noble saying, let neither man nor beast, herd nor flock, taste anything, let them not feed nor drink water. But the man and beast be covered with sackcloth and cry mightily unto God. Yea, let them turn every one from his evil way and from the violence that is in his hand. Who can tell if God will turn and repent and turn away from his fire's anger and we perish not? And God saw their works. He saw their they are, that means they are, they are, their activity, their mind, their, their willingness to obey. He said that they turned from the evil way and God repented of the evil that he had said he would do unto them. And he did it not. God will not do evil to put that repentance. So let's go out there and tell them. Let us pray. Father, we thank you so much because you have given us the grace to see Jonah was reluctant to the call. Eventually, he prayed and precisely proclaimed the word of God and they were converted. He will give us, as we've given us this mandate, we will go prayerfully. We go preaching and so shall be converted. And the kings and the chief will even proclaim for us so that we will read it all over the world. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen.